I'm going to show you stuff you've never seen before. It's the first time. It's going to blow your mind. Okay? Never seen any of this before. I can guarantee that. Unless you were at Ken's class yesterday. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then you've probably seen stuff incredibly similar to it. And uh, now, all, all kidding aside, dude. Um, basic stuff. Just using the D from closed guard. Okay? Um, does everybody here, I'm assuming, knows how to do a arm bar from closed guard? For the most part, right? I mean. Pretty simple, right? You guys, white belts, everyone? We're all good? Yep. Okay, so if we can do that, we can jump right into it then. Um, we're going to start off just, using, just with a simple arm bar, using a gate, okay? Um, best would be to beat to my head to see everything I'm doing, so I'll stand back this way so everyone can see. Um, Aaron? Uh, let's just go around. All right, guys, starting off in closed guard. First thing that's important here. I need to use my hips to help control his posture, okay? If I just think I'm going to grab him and he's going to come down to me just by pulling him, I'm mistaken, okay? Because if he braces his arms here, he's got a much better position here to keep than me just trying to pull him down, right? So I need to be able to use my hips and, and, and you know, maybe break his elbows or do things. And then once I get him down, I need to keep him down. My hips will come into that and my grips will come into that, right? So we're using the gi, so... I need to get his gi out, whichever side you're going to, okay? Depending on how you get here and when you get here in your rolls will determine if he may be all disheveled already and his gi may be out. We may be in a scramble and I may break him down. So I'm not going to worry too much about how you do your breakdowns, or, or, but I am going to show you a little bit of how I like to get the gi out once it, when it's in already, okay? One thing I like to do is come underneath and grab with my thumb down to the inside of his gi and start pulling out this way. Okay, a lot of times when I start doing this, people start worrying about that gi, okay, which he, well, he'll do something like he just did, and then that'll give me an opportunity to pull my hips forward and punch my hand straight in, four fingers in, as high as I can get, okay, and from here, pull him in. That gives me a second to open my guard and pull his gi out, okay? If I have him pulled down nice and tight, I can work his gi out as much as I want it, okay? From this position, once I get this out, I'm just grabbing, I'm not going to the very end, okay? Just grabbing midway through it. I'm putting it into his tricep, and from here I'm gonna punch this out, push my hips, push his elbow right to like my midline, and pull him back in again. From this position, I'm gonna keep him up so you guys can see it. I'm passing, and passing thumb in to the far side, and pulling him in again, okay? You want to do that as tight as you can. So if you get him down, you want to keep him down and make this transition. Okay? So I got my right hand is pulling his lapel over his tricep. If you're too high, he's got his whole arm. If you're too low, he can just straighten right out of it. Okay? So I want here and here, and I'm shooting my four fingers up into his far side collar. Right? You all with me so far? This side of the room, you with me? From here, it's just a standard arm bar. Foot in the hip, hips up, break down across his shoulders, leg over, knees together, he's tapping already. Knees together, heels to my ass. And I'm never letting go of this, and I'm never letting go of this, okay? So one more time. Start from my closed guard. I'm reaching under his arm, reaching out for his lapel. If he goes for it, he goes for it. If he don't, he don't. Pull him forward, breaking him down. Grab the lapel, okay? It's all out already. Hip up. His arm's to my side, right? I need to get it across my center line. All I'm doing is I'm punching out, hipping up, and pushing it across using the lapel. You with me? You guys with me? One, two. Foot in the hip. Bridge up. Break down across the shoulder blades. Keep them nice and tight. Keeping your grips. Don't let go. Boom, there's my arm bar. We cool on that? Any questions on that so far? All right, let's go give it a shot. I'm on a three, two, one guy, so just go. It's a person broken down when you're switching your grips, okay? You may not be able to, I don't know. But here's how you maximize your um, success. So I'm here, I pull them out, shoot up, break down. Get to my center line. When I do this, if I'm light here, 
and I make my transition, right? I let go, and I'm like, oh, he could just posture up, right? Not hard to do, okay? So what I want to do is I want to break him to this position, keep him tight to me. I'm using my hips, right? So now if I let go here to do my transition, it's a lot harder if I control his hips, right? Now if he could po posture up, it's a lot easier for me to keep him down and work over. Okay, so that, that covers how to maximize your potential to get this, okay? Use your hips. My hips control him, man. If I, if I don't rely on my hips to control his posture, and I always just rely on strength and grips, I'm gonna lose more often than not. I add my hips into it, it gives me a better success rate, okay? Second question was, how do I apply a pressure if I never let go of my grips? Well, I don't know if everyone could see me, but I'm grabbing in this position for a reason, right? I need to get this as tight on his tricep, and I need to get my grip as tight to his arm as possible, okay? Thumb up. Okay, if I'm in this position, I can't. I, I won't finish it. Okay? I need to be thumb up. So what, all I'm doing when I finish it is I'm just turning my palm to the floor, which puts my forearm right on top of his forearm as I apply my pressure. That makes sense so far? Okay, so let's try it again one more time, and then we'll... Add what ifs, okay? okay. Break. All right, so here's one issue that came up. When I, when I go through the sequence right here, and I get to this point, and I get to this point, I get the arm to my center line. If for some reason his arm is outside here, and I'm going through this whole sequence here, it's going to be different, okay? Um, can you still finish with the arm bar? Sure. Would I? Probably not. Okay. Um, there's one more question. Uh, oh yeah, the other, the other thing is, once I get to this point, I'm here, I make my hand off. To finish the arm bar, it's important that I don't just go like this. Okay, I, I'm getting to the position doing it this way, but once I step in his hip, I'm bridging up onto my shoulder blades. Okay, this makes this part really easy. Okay? And then it's really simple to just bring this over. Okay? If I just stay flat and I try and, I mean, because of flexibility and, and whatnot, I'm getting it across the shoulder blades. But a lot of times what happens is your, your leg is like here. And then you're trying to like throw this leg over and you're kind of straight and you're in this like weird position. Okay? You're never going to finish like that. Really important that you get your hips up, end up on a 90 degree angle. I need to look, however disgusting it may be, in my partner's ear. Okay? Not that you got bad ears, dude. You're good. Okay? So that's what you need to do in order to make it easy to get it over and finish. Okay? So first problem that can happen. Once I get to this position, the setup is the same every time, guys. Everything we're doing, we're working off of closed guard, reaching through, grabbing this, shooting up, pulling them down, breaking across, and getting my grip. Okay? So what happens if I do this, and as I shoot across, I go too far, he's over my center line, okay? I'm not gonna try and push him back because I don't have the, the leverage to push him back. All my leverage is going in that direction, right? Um, let's see, let's turn back to this side. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, I'll do it in both ways. So his arm is across my center line, right? So what am I gonna do from here? I'm in this position, I'm gonna step, hip out, far side foot is going right into his hip, okay? You guys all see that? And when I do that, my knee, He's coming right to his shoulder. If I leave it low, he's pressing it down, he's passing my guard, okay? Important that I get this up and immediately get my knee above his opposite shoulder, foot to his hip, okay? So I got foot in the hip, knee to the shoulder, foot resting on the hip, knee to the back of the shoulder, and I'm squeezing this. My outside hand, I'm just coming right over, hugging and extending, okay? It's called a crooked arm bar, all it is it's like a modified key lock, I guess. If you guys know a key lock, it's the same pre uh, premise, okay? From this position, my free hand just comes over, and I finish this by extending out, okay? Uh, let's turn to the other side. I got to this position, went too far, okay? Foot in the hip, knee up. Knee slides up, hug it, extend. 
We cool? Is that putting pressure on the shoulder or the elbow? Elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how you do this, you're going to get elbow, you may get shoulder as well. Okay. The more pressure you squeeze, if I'm not getting it right away, I could bend his arm a little bit more and pull it back a little bit more. And I also have my bailout, which we'll show next, okay? okay. So let's try this for now. So one more time, really quick. Uh, take this side. I go through my initial process, I break them down. As I hip up, I go too far. Do my same transition, right? My outside leg. My outside leg is obviously the leg that's outside of all this, right? That makes sense to everybody when I say outside leg, okay? Step out, hip, and up right away. This has to be squeezed. If I don't squeeze this really tight, he's gonna just use that arm to push my leg straight down. I also have pressure across his neck with this. You see that wince he just made? That's a good thing for me, okay? From here, boom, okay? Could probably take this and go right into his neck and put pressure this way if I want to and just finish it right here. Uh, it depends on how much of a dick you want to be. I like being a dick personally, so. <laughs> All right, guys, let's try it. Pull me over for questions. Nice. Little detail where I see a lot of people making the same, I don't want to call it a mistake, but mistake. <laughs> so I'm here, I get to my position, I'm one, I'm two. Punch him out, I come across, I went too far. I switch, I switch, step, hip, squeeze. From here, I want to get his elbow as close to the floor as possible, right? You guys all with me? His elbow needs to be as close into the floor as possible. I need to be on my side as if I'm gonna just hang out and watch TV, okay? If I'm on my back right here, I'm not going to get his elbow to the floor and I'm not going to be able to extend. All I'm doing is pulling his arm this way. <coughs> not that big of a deal for most people, okay? In this position here, his elbow is to the floor. Now I could arch as much as I need to, but I really shouldn't need to, okay? My free hand, I'm basically hooking his hand, okay? If I, if the straighter his arm is, the harder it's going to be to finish this to the point where you probably won't finish it, right? Okay? I need to bend his elbow. It's like if I'm doing a key lock. If his arm's out here, I can't do a key lock, right? I need it to be here so I can put that pressure, right? Same concept here. I reach over, I grab his wrist, I lift it a little bit as I put my pressure. Uh, switch to the side. I'm here, I push too far. One, two, I'm here. I'm all the way on my side. Okay, these are squeezed really tight. A little bit of a lift to get to bend my knee and start arching, okay? What is stopping from pulling out? Oh, nothing. You Snap. might pull out. And I'll address that issue when it comes, but... Oh, this. I mean, there's, if I keep him nice and tight, I keep him here, ideally I'll get my, my, my tap before he does that. He's gonna, his first instinct is typically gonna be to push this down to relieve that pressure, and I'll go from that position, okay? It can pretty much just be the same thing. Or, that. Okay, it's kind of hard to pull out straight with your arm back. Anyway, I can't really. I kind of need it. There's not. There's, there's, I'm trying to minimize him doing anything by keeping everything I do really super tight, right? Um, plus, I got his gi pulled up over his arm. Just back out. Okay, so this is helping me minimize that as well. There's no way I can completely stop him from doing anything. I mean. I, I act, he reacts, I act, he reacts. That's how jujitsu is, right? Nothing's 100%. You want to make it as close as possible, right? So I want to get this position, get here as quick as I can, and put this pressure on him so he can't do that. And if he does, I address it. One, keep going back, whatever I want to do. I don't know. Let's try it a couple more times, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can't get the shoulder off, right, or the elbow, wherever you feel. That's easy. I'm here, I go through my whole process. I break his, I pull his gi out. Uh, one thing I was noticing, if you guys are struggling getting the gi out, like you get this position, you're struggling. Okay, if, if I use this to hold him down really good, I got a second to open my legs. Where, I mean, if I open my legs for a second, he's not going to posture up for that quick second. He may try, but if I got good grip here, I'll, he'll bring me up with him and I'll just close my guard again, right? So what I'll do is I'm here, I don't have enough gi. 
I'll open, I'll just reach back, and pull everything forward, okay? Now I got plenty of ghee, right? Nice. My thumb's out. Pot, pop him straight. Pop him over. I went too far. I get to this position here, I can't finish my lock, right? My foot is just stepping off and through. You guys all see that? Now, I'm, I'm, I opened up and loosened it out so you guys could all see it. From here, I'm going through. From here, I'm reaching up. I'm just going to take his back, okay? When I come up to take his back, my foot that went through, I'm pulling him all the way out, right? My far side hand, I'm going to try and control his hand. Okay, from here, I can just come back to his back and start my attacks from here, okay? It's pretty simple. I get to this position, I'm here, I do my switch, uh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm in this position, I'm not getting it, right? Kick out, kick through. I still have this too, did you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, from here I can still put pressure, he's not going to let me, but it's important that I open up his hip when I do this, okay? You see how his posture completely broke at that point? It gives, it, it gives me more of an attack and he needs to like kind of rebase and it breaks him down a little bit, right? Strong base isn't with one hip all the way extended with a, with a barrier in front of it, okay? And I need immediately to come here. I could keep this as long as I want it. I don't need to, okay? I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna try and come right across. Right to his back. Finish however you want. Did you guys see what I did? Mm -hmm. Did you guys see what I did? Yes. Did you see it again? Please. Yeah. One more. One more. Uh, Come to this side, I guess. Okay. If, you, if you need to see it better, come to this side. I'll try to keep my head this way. So that can work again. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm here. I'm not getting it. I'm squeezed. One, two. Make sense? Yes, sir. Sorry. Rolling. You guys see that? Pull in. Pull in. Make more sense now, or? Mm -hmm. yep. Let's do it. Um, your last option on this for now, even though there's infinite number of options, the last thing we're going to do, okay? I'm here, I pulled this gi out, I shot my hand up, I brought him over. I pass it. Let's say I go a little bit too far, right? But I'm not comfortable with the crooked arm bar. I tried it all day, couldn't finish it, right? What else can I do? I'm in this position right here. Reach over, feed the lapel. Ideally right underneath his throat, right? So from here it's simple. All I need to do is just drive my elbow to the ground. I come up to like a nice S mount here where I can just push his head and choke him, okay? That's the nice way to do it. The funner way to do it. <laughs> I'm here. I get to this position. My crooked arm bar sucks. I feed through nice and tight. Once I let go, I shoot under. Elbow to the ground. Come up. Pull his far side leg that I just hooked. Keep this and just yank him. Okay? If he doesn't tap from that point, well, then I'll just try that. <laughs> Try this, try this, all these other cool things that are right here, okay? So one more time real quick, and you can try it once or twice, and I want to take a group picture on this side, because it's my last class of the camp, all right? So, I'm here, I do all this cool stuff, I get to this point, I can't do a crooked arm bar because I just can't. I got this lapel. As I reach over, my hand that has control slides towards the end. This hand goes inside it, so it's nice and tight. Right now, the inside ridge of my hand is right against his neck, okay? If I'm out here loose, no good. Tight. The tighter I could get it, the better. I could probably finish him right here if I wanted to. If I put a little pressure onto it. <laughs> okay? Elbow to the floor, shoot under. It should be effortless. Bring him through. Posture up. Finish him, okay? Nice. Last thing we're doing, we'll do it a couple times, then pitcher, and then thank you. But try it. Right, let's go right to the choke. I need as much lapel as possible, right? As much lapel as possible. Feed it. Don't keep your elbow up. 
you keep your elbow up, he's just going to take his head right out. My elbow needs to stay down so he can't get his head out, right? Okay? That's a very important part of this, okay? Elbow down and then elbow to the floor. Okay? Make sense, guys? All right, guys, can we line up on that side for a real quick picture? 